Welcome back to 3 Shoe one Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, smash the like button. Let's get into the video. Today we'll be taking a look at the unreleased app by Goat called Alias. At the time of recording this, the app is currently accepting people to join a waitlist. In this video, I will explain the perks behind the new platform, how to navigate around the app, and my thoughts on the overall app. Starting on the first page, we can see the total number of seller points, and if we click on it, it takes us to a page with my seller score again, as well as it tells me my current commission charge rate. In the top left corner, there is a QR code. This is used for eligible sellers who want to drop off their shoes for authentication at participating flight club and other various GOAT sponsored locations. Below that, it displays the number of open orders. I have two. And if I click on it, it shows me that my road warriors are in transit and my desert boots have been dropped off at a UPS location. Below that, there is a section that shows total money made, plus current inventory worth combined. It also shows each respective value below that. At the bottom of the page, it goes into even more detail about my current inventory, breaking up the value for listed and non-listed items. On the second page, this is where you'll find the standard browsing page that is identical to the Goat app. This is where you can see recently dropped and upcoming shoes. This is also where you can search for shoes. On the third page, also similar to Goat, you can see your current inventory, and it breaks that up into categories such as listings for sale, in review, and not for sale. Below that, it shows the current location of the shoe, which is important if you decide to store a shoe in Goat storage facility or can sign a shoe. The fourth page has another similar page to Goat, the order page. Unlike how on the GOAT app, the order page is under the profile page, on Alias, the order tab gets its own dedicated page. Alias prioritizes the buying and selling aspect of its platform, hence the reorganization of some of its key features. On the final page, this is where you have access to your account, and you can cash out on available GOAT currency, and view your transaction history. In the top right corner, you will also find the settings button which will allow you to activate vacation mode as well as make edits to your profile and contact support, just as you would on the Goat app. Now for individual listings. When clicking on a shoe, the app will display two pages, an info and selling page. On the info page, you will find a picture of the shoe and the shoe details, such as its SKU number, the retail price, release date, colorway, brand, nickname, and a little write-up about the shoe. Now the sell page is where Alias really differs from Goat. On the first page of the selling section, the app presents a newly designed layout which more easily displays all of the sizes, last sale, lowest ask, and top offer, side by side, in an easily viewable format. If I click on a top offer, it opens a page that breaks down the financials on exactly how much fees are, and what the final payout will be. On the set your price tab, there is an animation for the sliding bar that changes color depending on the price at which you wish to sell. At the bottom, you can view more pricing data and see past sales, the average and the lowest and the highest sale prices, as well as what percent of sales were in the given range, as seen here. And the third tab displays all of the current offers for the shoe in that given size. In my opinion, and made evident by this tutorial of the app, Alias is a truly game-changing platform. With data that has never been available before, GOAT and Alias sellers will be able to more strategically buy, sell, and manage their shoe portfolio. It is still unconfirmed when this app will be available to everyone, but I highly recommend joining the waitlist because this app is truly incredible. GOAT may very well be making even more changes to Alias, so stay tuned.